Hi, my name is Daphne Elise with Century 21 Connect Realty. Today we're going to talk about earnest money. First of all, thanks so much for tuning in today. I've been a little under the weather, so if I sound a little stuffy, I'm really sorry. But I just wanted to keep you all informed with information that you can use when dealing in your real estate transactions. Now, back to earnest money. What is earnest money? Earnest money is the financial consideration that you are showing the seller that you are serious about buying the house. How much earnest money do I need to put up? I would ask for a minimum of $1,000. Anything less than that, the seller is going to look at your offer in a sense that, well, if they're struggling just to put up earnest money, which is still credited to you, when you get ready to go closing. So it, the money doesn't just fall into an abyss or it's just there on paper. It really does go somewhere. That could be, you know, a possible red flag. If you put up like, let's say $500 worth of earnest money, unless it's in an investment property, and even then in our current climate, putting up $500 earnest money on an investment property is frowned upon, no matter what the condition is. They want to know you're serious. They want to know this is a solid buyer. They're going to follow through. And they really want this house. The more earnest money you can put down, the better your offer looks. I personally have had situations where there were higher offers. However, there were buyers who put up as much as ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 in earnest money. Now that is someone who is serious about their property and is not going to walk away. Is the earnest money refundable? Yes. When is it refundable? It depends on how the contract is written. It can be refundable during your due diligence period should you elect to have one. That's another strategy we will have to talk about in another video about your due diligence period, which is generally given to give you time to really kind of set in and like, okay, I put an offer on this house. Do I really want this house? How bad do I want this house? It also gives you time to get your home inspection done. If something should come back on a home inspection that is less than desirable and it's going to cost you a considerable amount of money, that is the time for you to pull out and say, hey, this is a great house, but this is not the house for me. At that time, your earnest money would be refundable. I have seen contracts where the earnest money is not even paid until after the due diligence period, or some have requested it clean up through the last day of closing. It depends on the deal. I really cannot give you a hard fast on that as far as earnest money, but I do recommend that you have at least $1,000 or 1% of the purchase price of the home. More, as I said, could definitely tip the seller over in your favor if you get into a multiple offer situation. And in our current climate, multiple offer situations are very, very common. So it's just up to you. As I said, earnest money shows the seller that you are serious about buying their home. Well, that's all I'll go into today on earnest money. If you have more questions about earnest money, please feel free to give me a call back. My number is 770-771-9962. The number again is 770-771-9962. Thanks for tuning in today and it's so good to be back.